we're gonna dive into the mystery of Reaper's Dockers. Reaper's Toolbar Dockers and all that crazy stuff that goes with it. Right now we have a main toolbar over here, top of main window. That's a special section over here. Uh, one toolbar can be displayed at top of the main window. Besides that, so let's uh, change this to floating. And now we have floating toolbar. This is toolbar that can be moved. And let's now uh, use toolbar docker. Okay, so now we have something that looks a little bit different. Now we have this over here, which means that this toolbar has multiple tabs and it's called toolbar docker. And if you notice this little exclamation point, you can click it. We have a couple of options here. So the first one is attach toolbar docker to main window. Okay, if we uncheck this, now we have floating toolbar docker, which is not the same as floating toolbar. So these are different things, floating. Okay, right now we have one floating toolbar, second floating toolbar, and we have one floating toolbar docker, which can contain multiple toolbars. And besides that, we can have top of the main window. And this is all fine until this point. You can move this to toolbar docker. And then you can grab this over here. And you see when you drag it, uh, you get this blue rectang rectangle. And this rectangle shows you what will happen to this uh, toolbar when you release the mouse. So if you drag it down, it will show you that on the release of a button, it will dock this toolbar. So let's try this. Okay, so now we have top of the main window, we have floating toolbar docker, we have floating toolbar, and we have docked toolbar in a docker. So attach docker to main window. And this is now the weird part. You can untach the docker. And now, okay. <laughs> Okay, and now we have top of the main window, floating toolbar docker, floating toolbar and floating docker, which is different because it has this X button and it can be pinned. And this is not the end of this crazy story. Okay, so now we have two uh, toolbars in this floating toolbar docker and we can move toolbars between docker. Let's see if we can have multiple undocked docker windows. So let's grab this and move it over here. So now we have one docked docker on the left side and let's, let's uh, open Media Explorer. So Media Explorer is a window that can be docked and undocked. Currently it is undocked, but we can right click over here and dock Media Explorer in Docker. And now we have Docker on the left side of this screen. And this Docker has multiple tabs. And one of the tabs is Toolbar and the other one is Media Explorer. And let's click the exclamation point again and untach this. And this is weird right now. This is a mess. So now we have main main Toolbar. We have top of the main window. We have floating toolbar docker. If I'm correct. Yes, toolbar docker. We have floating toolbar. We have two dockers with m one of, uh, we, uh, you can, how do you, can you resize docker? Yes. Okay, so we have multiple dockers and each of these has can have multiple tabs. So we can, let's say, pick this one over here and move it over here. Yes. And let's say we can pick this one and move it to toolbar docker. And now I wonder if I can uh, move Media Explorer from docker to toolbar docker. And yes, it can be done. And 
now you cannot resize this window now you cannot move this window but you can resize the other one okay so if you want to resize the media explorer inside undocked docker you must first uh, what have i done now where is my window gone okay uh, i think the con conclusion is that we can have one toolbar docker and we can have multiple dockers anywhere so let's say actions window and we can dock actions window and now we have okay let's also uh, dock this docker show docker okay and this is the default shortcut uh, alt plus d on pc and this action shows and hides all docker windows so that means that this toolbar docker will not be hidden with this action we will not be affected by this action and it means that we can show and hide this window separately from this part of the screen and separately from the docker windows so all docker windows are showed and hidden at the same time if we use this alt plus d shortcut and we can let's say choose where can we attach docker windows so let's uh, move this to top to make it even more messier and we can choose to attach this docker position to the top and now we are getting deep into the rabbit hole so now what you're looking at is a very custom setup where you cannot determine what's docker and what's toolbar docker and the only thing to distinguish those between themselves is to click on the exclamation point and if you see here docker this is a regular docker if you see here docker okay and this one should be toolbar docker okay and uh, at this point i really don't understand uh, the difference between the docker and toolbar docker uh, it's just there can be just one toolbar docker and you can i thought that you can put only toolbars inside the toolbar docker but no you can put actions window you can put media explorer window let's try tracks and regions so you can put tracks and regions into this toolbar docker and that name really doesn't uh, make any sense at this point okay so let's make it even more crazy how can i uh, for example move this floating toolbar to a regular docker so the only way you can do this is to move it to toolbar docker and from there you can drag it to some other place and let's say let's move it on the right side and here we have a docker so if we press alt plus d we are hiding all docker windows and we if we press control backspace which is my shortcut for hiding toolbar docker we can hide toolbar docker and if i take this over here move it over here now we have toolbar docker which has so and the, the crazy part is lots of people don't know that if you grab this tab over here and move it and you have this blue what will happen now uh, that's my question okay so it will be undocked uh, that's reasonable so far but if you want you do not get all the positions for placing this where you actually want so uh, if you want more positions this is really weird so if i want it in the right over here where my mouse cursor, cursor is i must move my mouse cursor over here somewhere no where was i here so top uh, uh, bottom right corner to move it to the top right corner this is really weird and if you move it to top right corner it shows you this rectangle over here and okay let's try this so if i want it so what happened uh, these are now on top of each other but what if i want to add it to this row over here i cannot do that without holding control if you hold control or probably command on mac you get the option to dock it over here 
and between these and over here and uh, I don't know the reason for that but yeah so now you can dock this docker over here so uh, my brain is going to explode right now that's part one of this adventure I think we will stop right now and continue later.